Hey everybody, how's everybody doing? I wanted to talk a little bit about the diet heart hypothesis, the lipid hypothesis. One of the leading proponents of these hypothesis, Ansel Keys, the guy you see here on the cover of Time magazine, and how all of it is basically bogus. Now, both of these hypotheses is, are still pushed by vegans. And in one of my debates with conscientious omnivore, that's exactly what he was doing, while at the same time saying that he has investigated both sides of the story. When I told him that this, these hypotheses are bogus, that no person who has actually looked at the studies and investigated just a little bit uh, would ever, if they're honest, still push this idea real quick to tell you what these hypotheses are. The lipid hypothesis holds that high concentrations of cholesterol in the blood cause heart disease and diet heart hypothesis holds that high amounts of saturated fat in a diet cause heart disease. They're related and they're often pushed by the same people who say that cholesterol and saturated fat basically cause heart disease, right? And Enzo Keys was on the forefront of this. Here are some factoids about Enzo Keys. He was the creator of the World War II K ration, which included cigarettes and addicted millions. That was a doctor, supposedly. <clears throat> Sorry, just a PhD in oceanography. Hilarious. He was the author of the seven countries study, but excluded 16 countries that did not support his theory. So he was a scientific fraud. He used trans fat rich margarines in experiments, but implied that he used butter. So here's another example of scientific fraud. He was the lead investigator of the Minnesota coronary study experiment, which we'll talk about in a second, but did not publish the data because it went completely against his diet heart hypothesis. He's also the architect of the American version of a Mediterranean, Mediterranean diet, which is not a true reflection of the Mediterranean diet. So all around this guy was a scientific fraud who pushed these two hypotheses that a vegan so desperately still hold on to. All based in scientific fraud, all right? So let's look at this, <coughs> excuse me, Minnesota coronary experiment that he was the lead investigator in, and so keys. You see the link, you can go check out the whole thing. I'm not interested in uh, going through the whole study. But the objective was to examine the traditional diet heart hypothesis through recovery and analysis of previously unpublished data from the Minnesota coronary experiment. So this is a re-evaluation of the study that was basically hidden from the public, right? Because that's what Enzo Key set out to prove. He set out to prove the diet heart hypothesis, right? And these were the highest level of uh, scientific standard namely randomized controlled trials, right? These are studies that basically that can show you uh, the highest level of proof possible in science, right? These are the highest standard. Uh, it's not a study that just shows you correlations. This actually can prove a hypothesis or disprove it and what they found 
basically the study had something like 4,000 a little bit more than 4,000 subjects in one group and a little bit more than 4,000 in the other group and these people were closely monitored because they were in, in men's institutions and like old folks homes and something so they had complete control of their diet and what they did is that they fed one group saturated fat a lot more saturated fat and fats from animals and the other group they fed a lot more of plant oils uh, linoleic acid uh, and what they found out is that the people eating plant oils it did lower their cholesterol but they actually had higher incidence of heart disease than the people eating saturated fat and animal fats. I'm just going to skip to the conclusion. You can go read this whole study here. Let's read the discussion. The traditional diet heart hypothesis predicts that replacing saturated fat with vegetable oil rich in linoleic acid will reduce coronary heart disease. <coughs> and deaths by lowering serum cholesterol. So it did lower serum cholesterol, but heart disease incidents were actually higher than in the people eating saturated fats from animals. Here we go, summary and conclusion. <clears throat> Available evidence from randomized controlled trials shows that replacement of saturated fat with linoleic acid effectively lowers serum cholesterol but does not support the hypothesis that this translates to a lower risk <coughs> of death from coronary heart disease or all causes. <coughs> so this study went completely against Ansel Keys' uh, assumptions based in fraudulent studies. I wonder who he was paid for. And, well, that's why he didn't publish it. It's because he was set out to prove that higher cholesterol causes heart disease. And he found out the exact opposite. This linoleic acid in soy is strongly linked to obesity epidemic. Now, chicken, commercially raised chicken, and conventionally produced chicken eggs contain a lot of linoleic acid also needs to be said but that's because these animals are fed a lot of soy right and there's a lot of linoleic acid in the standard American diet because of all the different vegetable oils right so when you have these food surveys or epidemiological studies that find a link between meat consumption and heart disease and they postulate that it's because of cholesterol or something. Um, that's all BS because all of those people, you know, even the meat eaters, when they fry up they st their steak, they use vegetable oil, right? So, because vegetable oil is so prevalent in the standard American diet and we know from Ansel Keys' experiments that it's actually that that causes um, it seems to cause heart disease or people that consume a lot of that instead of animal fats have higher rates of heart disease it, it's completely ludicrous and preposterous for these food survey epidemiological studies and the people that conduct them it's completely anti-scientific and it flies in the face of actual factual science that's a lot more credible than their studies you know when they try to say that meat and saturated fat causes this disease when we know all those people also eat a lot of vegetable oil which we know uh, has 
consumption thereof has a higher incident of incidence of heart disease. So <clears throat> all these people who conduct these epidemiological studies and posit these things, uh, they're completely not of frauds. Here's one study that says that the low-fat diet heart hypothesis has been controversial for nearly 100 years, okay? So this has been known for 100 years. And, you know, so for this vegan in our debate to still push these hypotheses that have been debunked many, many years ago and have always been controversial, have never been proved, there has never been any credible science showing that saturated fat from animals causes heart disease. For this vegan, this is why I call them dishonest and a liar, because you can't say that you've looked at both sides of this debate and still hold fast that animal, uh, saturated animal fat causes heart disease, because not only is there no proof that it does, there's actually proof that it's something else. So, yes, my debate opponent is a liar. He is a very dishonest person. He's ideologically possessed, and he pushes, you know, ancient science that's been debunked many times over already. Like, it's, it's preposterous that uh, people still push this, these ideas that have never been proved and have been disproved many times. Now, as far as linoleic acid goes, it's an essential acid and we do need some of it in our diet. But here are, here's a pro-vegan website that lists sources of this linoleic acid. Um, these people are liars, first and foremost, like all vegans, because they say that these are good plant sources of omega-3 fatty acids. The only omega-3 fatty acid, singular, you can get from plants is ALA. You can't get DHA or EPA. You have to convert them, and we don't convert them very well at all, actually. But I just wanted to point out that this is a pro-vegan website, okay? That is, and these people are either ignorant or they're just willing to lie to push their ideology. But anyway, they say that these are good sources of omega-6 fatty acids, linoleic acid, uh, because it is an essential acid and you should be getting some of it in your diet. Sunflower, safflower, soybeans, hemp seeds, walnuts, pumpkin seeds, sesame seeds, flax seeds, and most grains. I think most nuts, uh, definitely the Brazil nut, but I think nuts in general are contain a lot of this acid. Now, the reason why I'm talking about this is because, yes, you could sit there and say that these processed oils from these plants are bad because they're hydrogenated, and that's definitely true. But that still does not resolve the problem of consuming too much omega-6 fatty acids, something that's almost uh, inevitable on the vegan diet if you are, quote-unquote, doing uh, veganism right because you know a lot of people in order to get any fats eat a lot of these these products right um, beans soybeans hemp seeds flax is very popular grains and nuts in general right in order to get their protein and the what they call these good fats and they are to a degree they consume unnatural amounts of all of these things right which overloads their bodies with omega-6 fatty acids and because they cannot convert ALA to DHA and EPA very well they end up with having too much omega-6 fatty acids which there's evidence that too much thereof will cause problems uh, and it's just not good for you. So, 
just another reason why the vegan diet does work for a lot of people and because it overloads your body with omega-6 and you can't get enough omega-3 so I just wanted to make this quick not so quick video to point out how vegans who still push this both of these hypotheses I, I discussed in this video are either ignorant about the science or they don't care and they just lie to push their agenda right but if you're gonna claim that you've studied both sides of this debate and you studied all the science on the topic and still push the lipid heart hypothesis and or the lipid hypothesis and the diet heart hypothesis then you're nothing but a liar and you're just a fraud okay just like Ansel Keys who push these hypotheses harder than harder than anybody else okay so this whole idea that saturated fat or high cholesterol levels cause heart disease are completely bogus they have never been they've just been hypothesis they have never been proved and they've been controversial for over a hundred years now and quite frankly they've been completely debunked by <laughs> the same people who push this hypothesis but seeing as these people this person and so keys has proved to be a scientific fraud well what do you expect so as usual vegans are wrong they're pushing bogus science and are lying to you so that's my video thank you for watching and uh, I'll catch you on the next one